it going guys? I'm CTM Amygdala and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and Warzone video. In today's video I'm going to be talking a little bit about the Operators Unlock challenges and just kind of going through everything that I've done so far and how to complete some of these. So essentially I've just been focusing on the Tier 100 skins and this is going to include Stitch, Naga, Wraith, and Jackal. So the four Battle Pass characters, and I've just been going through and trying to get all of the Tier 100 Operator skin unlocks. So as we can see here for Stitch, I've already got all of them. This is what all three of them look like. And to complete these, you have to get five kills with C4 lethal equipment. In Warzone, you have to complete five bounties. You have to get five kills with a Molotov, and you have to destroy five enemy vehicles. Now, for Wraith, you're going to have to get 15 Eliminations dual-wielding pistols. Now, I did the uh, Stitch ones a long time ago, like back in Season 1, so I'm not going to really go over those too much, as I'm assuming most of you guys have those. However, for the Wraith ones, so for 15 Eliminations using dual-wield pistols, I'd recommend using the Amp, and I'll go see if I actually still have those on one of my classes. So right here, I'm running the amp with the infantry compensator, the task force barrel, the 5 milliwatt laser, 22 round fast mag, and dual wield. And doing this is going to be the easiest way to get the first wraith challenge done for the tier 100 skin. Now after that, you've got recover 1500 health using stem shot. That's straightforward. Just use the stem shot and kind of duck around uh, cover and stuff after you get shot. And this will come naturally. You could probably do it in like one game. This one's get 25 eliminations with an SMG with the drum magazine attachment. So essentially, I believe I did this one in the same game, all three of these in the same game. And I used the AK-47 with a drum attachment. I don't have it on here anymore. However, I believe I was using this 50 round drum. And that is going to be how you're going to complete this. Just get 20 kills while using this drum. And you can do it with any SMG. I just personally prefer the AK-74U. However, you can do it with whichever one you feel is best. Now, for the last challenge, you're going to need to kill an enemy without taking damage 10 times. This is going to come naturally. Did it in one game. Just kill people that are facing away from you kill people that aren't shooting you back yet this is going to be very very easy and i probably got this just after getting 10 kills like as long as you're fast and you shoot them before they shoot you this is going to be no problem at all so i personally think wraith is the easiest one so now i'm going to move into naga which i actually just completed and i'm going to have some gameplay showing you guys how to do the final two so for nagas so the first one is going to be five kills with frag grenades. This one's pretty easy. Just throw and spam frag grenades across the uh, 6v6 face-off game modes. Especially U-Bon works well because it's just a straightaway inside of a train station and the frag grenades will just roll into their spawn and blow them all up. This one's very easy. Another thing that I want to mention is you can do all four of these in one game if you're good enough. Like I said a little while ago, I got the last two of these in one game, which you'll see in the video a little bit later here. However, for the second one, you're going to want to destroy five enemy ground vehicles. Now, this is one that can be a little bit annoying. What I was doing is I was running into Fireteam Mosh Pit. So you're going to go to Fireteam right here, and then Fireteam Mosh Pit. And what this is, is it's essentially like a mini battle royale. And as you're dropping down... You want to pull your parachute, pull out your launcher, and look for cars that are down on the map. And when you see one, you just want to kind of skydive towards it and pull out your rocket launcher and blow it up. This is a very easy way to do it. I got this done in two games. I could have probably gotten it done in one, but I wasn't really specifically going for it, and I still got it done in two games. So you're definitely going to want to go to fire team for that. Now the next challenge is going to be to kill two or more enemies rapidly three times. This is very straightforward. You're going to get it done in one game by just playing the 6v6 face-off game mode. And then the last one is going to be execute one finishing move. 
I personally would recommend going into one of the larger game modes, maybe like 12v12, where there's a ton of snipers. And I would try and use dead silence to sneak up behind one of the snipers and kill one of them. However, I personally got both of these done in the same game on a 6v6 face-off, and I actually executed the finishing move up against a AFK player or someone who was not at their controller. And you guys will see that here in the video just in a little bit. Now, for Jackal, we've got get five kills with aerial score streaks or kill streaks. I'm personally going to try to do this with the UAV. I don't think it will work, but I haven't tried it out yet, so I will let you guys know if this works by using the UAV. And if not, I would say your best bet is probably going to be the Hellstorm missile. Or let me actually check what it's called in this game. For this one, I would personally recommend the cruise missile because it's going to have the highest chance of killing a player as if you land directly on someone it's going to kill them and you can see exactly where they are the napalm is a little bit cheaper but i feel like it's less consistent and you're going to be less likely to actually get the kills so i personally would recommend going with the cruise missile and then for the third one for jackal it's going to be get two kills using weapon score streak so this is going to include things like the hand cannon and the war machine i personally would recommend the war machine i think the war machine is the better of the two hand weapons that are score streaks however if you are good with the hand cannon you can go ahead and try and use this it might be a little bit harder so i would personally recommend running both just in case you lose the hand cannon you can go up and earn the war machine and you're definitely going to get it with that because the war machine's kind of ridiculously good i would say it's probably one of the better kill streaks in the game however you're going to be definitely wanting to run those three score streaks while you're trying to do the jackal challenges you're going to want to run the hand cannon the cruise missile and the war machine and just trying to rack up those points so you can earn these and complete those challenges now the second challenge for jackal is to get one kill at point blank behind somebody with pistols so once again, I'd recommend doing this with the AMP dual wield, and you're going to be wanting to run Ninja or Dead Silence and just run straight up behind someone that's likely camping, like find one of those snipers and get up right behind them and get your point blank kill from behind. For the last one, you're going to want to go on a five kill streak. For this one, just whatever gun you're comfortable with, just kind of camp and play slower. I'd recommend doing this on either Hijacked or Nuketown as those are very easy to get five kill streaks on. And that's how you're going to get the golden or copper version of Jackal, which you can see on my screen right now. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out. So this is my first game on after recording that. And I did do pretty good this game. I believe I went like 35 to 10 or something like that. And we will actually see here, I'm going to pop the UAV, and I believe I get two kills with the UAV up, so there's one. We're pulling ahead. I got a team and then right here should be a second kill. Yep, there's two. So that should be two of the five down if UAVs work. However, as we will see here in a second, the UAVs actually don't work. That should have been a third kill under UAV. So now I decided to go up here and try and finish it off with my missile. And as we can see here in a second, the missile actually doesn't unlock the challenge for me. And when I go on after game, it shows I have only three out of five. And you just saw me get three kills there with the missile. So UAVs do not work.